The Campifleguri supervolcano in Italy may unleash devastating eruptions more often than we initially thought, guys. That's the news that I have today for you. And this is because of ancient outbursts that are suggesting this because they found out that there were more eruptions than we thought. And that's not all. I have news for you about the recent events and the current earthquake swarm that is going on right now. So it's going to be a very interesting video, so stay with me. Let's start with the latest news that we have. In February this year, we recorded the highest number of earthquakes in the last 40 years at Campi Fligri. Of course, we have to consider that in the 1980s when there was this other strong seismic event that ended with a magma intrusion. So magma didn't reach the surface, but was intruding into other areas. There were not that many and that advanced seismic stations there to maybe catch all of them, but still it's significant. We had 1,813 earthquakes at the Campi Fligri supervolcano in February. This is what the monthly data gave us from the new bulletin that the INGV releases every month. The INGV, they're the guys that are supervising and observing everything that is going on at Campi Fligri and Vesuvius. 1,813 events in only 28 days because February is a shorter month. And not only that, we had the longest seismic swarm of this current Brady seismic crisis that already started in 2005. 800, more than 800 of these 1800 earthquakes were consecutive earthquakes, non-stop happening, bothering and frightening the people. It was the most intense event that had even a 3.9 magnitude. And for volcanic stuff, that is large, guys. We're not talking about like something like tectonic stuff that can go to six, seven. For earthquakes, this is significant. And then they're showing us 417 earthquakes, 23% were above magnitude zero and above magnitude one or between zero and one, 1,028, that's 56.7%. And then between one and two, 12.13%, 220 earthquakes. And then between two and three, and that's a lot guys, 43 earthquakes. Only, also, if it only looks like 2.37%, but that's a lot because the whole number was so big already, right? So that's why it's only 2.37%. And above three, we had 11 guys. And don't forget with the 3.9, there is a plus minus 0.3 error. So it could have been a 4.2 also. And a, a non-determined magnitude basically was 94 earthquakes. And the ground uplift has increased to 1.5 centimeters per month from one centimeter per month. And even while we had this massive earthquake swarm during like February 15th and 16th, where it was very intense for one day, it was increasing basically a one centimeter in one day. This is what it has usually done in a month. But more bad news. A new look at an ancient eruption of Campi Fligri raises new questions about the propensity of the still active volcano, of that active volcano that is located near Naples with more than 6 million people to produce major eruptions in the future. Because Italy's Campi Fligri, and if you translate this, the Fligrian fields, the burning fields, has that name for a reason, that supervolcano may have had more explosive eruptions, a more explosive history than experts thought. And that's not good, because what does that mean? It's erupting more often than we previously thought, which makes the whole thing even more dangerous in light of what's happening right now. So a new study has found out that Campi Flegre, the volcano, or one near Campi Flegre, one of these many craters, has laid down an enormous layer of ash and volcanic rock about 109,000 years ago. 
So you can trace that back if you find these layers in the ground. You can trace eruptions back pretty precise. And then you have to try to trace it back to who, who was it? I've made a very interesting video by the, the way where they have been searching for the culprit for such a long time. They knew there was a huge monstrous eruption that has affected the whole world, but they didn't know where it was coming from. And now they found it. Watch that video. I'm sure you haven't watched it yet. But let's talk about the Campiflegre outburst, the remnants, the evidence that they found. So the outburst dubbed the Madaloni X6 eruption. That's how it's called. It was similar in size to the biggest known Campiflegre eruption, which happened 40,000 years ago. And it was so large that it created a caldera nine miles, that's 15 kilometers in diameter. That's massive. Imagine the blast. Despite the relatively large uncertainty that still comes with this, this so-called Madaloni X6 eruption may be by a wide margin at least the second largest explosive event to have occurred in the Campiflegre area since 109,000 years ago. That's what a study has found out that was led by Giada Fernandez, a doctoral student in earth science at the Sapienza University of Rome. And this paper was published this year and it's mind blowing. I mean, we know Campi Flegre sits just east of Naples at the southern end of this super fertile companion plain. And why is it so super fertile? Well, because over time, volcanic matters and ashes is very fertile. That's why it's so densely populated on the volcano, all these craters. They didn't understand at first that this is a volcano. The soil of this plain is rich and fertile. It's made of broken down volcanic ash from the eruption that occurred 40,000 years ago. And now we have the confirmation of an older eruption that was nearly as large. And it has subtle implications for the risk to the five to 700,000 people who live in the caldera, in the absolute red zone, in and on the caldera, on these Phlegrean fields. And now the volcano has experienced 75 years of unrest. And that may or may not lead to an eruption, of course. But what we know and what the scientists are telling us, some leading scientists of the INGV, that this Brady seism, this land rise, the earthquakes, the continuous rattling is not normal. Campi Flegri had long periods of being completely quiet. Only before and after an eruption, it was showing these signs of unrest that it's showing now. And we're obviously not after an eruption. So we are before an eruption. That's why so many scientists are saying it is creeping towards an eruption. It's getting ready. So should such an eruption occur, it's almost certain to be small. That's what the scientists think. That's what the new research is saying. But they can't give a guarantee for that. They're estimating it could be a phreatic eruption. But still, for the people living in the red zone, very bad. And don't forget, if you look at from like a bird's eye view on the Campi Flegri with all these calderas, I mean, Campi Flegri has experienced multiple caldera forming eruptions in the past, or it would not look like it's looking. So it could suggests that in the long term, the volcano has the capacity for more devastating er explosions because it has done so in the past. So all these new findings I've reported about many, many more. They found where the magma chamber is located, where the magma chamber is traveling. Check out the video in the end screen, by the way. That changes the perception of the risk that brings Campi Flegri to the people, of the risk of Campi Flegri being active, active again right now. So 
what the scientists can't tell us exactly is whether this Madaloni X6 eruption came directly from Campi Flegre itself or whether the magna erupted from fractures uh, a few miles north of the caldera. That could have been possible as well, but it's equally as bad. It doesn't really change mu much. It wouldn't particularly matter to anyone that's standing in the eruption zone in the event of such a devastating event. It's just in theory. But of course, to the researchers, it matters a lot. The ones that are monitoring this volcano very, very closely on a daily basis, on an, on a millisecond basis, so to speak, because it can help them to focus on the signals that are most likely the ones that are occurring before an eruption, before a major eruption. Researchers have long known that the volcano had, la had laid down ash layers prior to the eruption 40,000 years ago. The difficulty in understanding these eruptions is that most of their traces were wiped away by that most recent major eruption. That was basically covering up what happened in the past. So the rocks from the Madaloni X6 eruption are now visible mostly in small outcrops in an area that is called Apennine, or in boreholes drilled deep into the earth. So the scientists have used these outcrops to make a model of what the 109,000 year old eruption would have looked like, because that is important. And they found that it did come from the Campi Flegre region, that is for sure, and that it began with an explosive eruption of ash and rock that made this classic billowing volcanic cloud of Campi Flegre. And then next came a period of enormous pyroclastic flows that are moving super, super fast. Avalanches of hot gas and rock that became a layer of rock called ignimbrite. And this ignimbrite is as deep as 6.5 feet, that's two meters in some places. That eruption has removed more than 36 cubic miles, that's 150 cubic kilometers of magma from below the surface. Wow. That is not much smaller than the largest known eruption that occurred 40,000 years ago. And that's why this is so concerning, because now they have found another one. So in comparison, the last eruption in Campi Flegre was in 1538, and it has spewed out about 0 0.005 cubic miles. That's 0 0.02 cubic kilometers of magma compared to 36 cubic miles in the big one. And there were two that they now found out that were as big as 36 cubic miles. So that new study is really a great piece of work that really should help the scientists a lot. They need, they still, they need to understand way, way better what the magma is doing underneath Campi Flegre, the, the plumbing of the volcano, so to speak. So if this eruption 109,000 years ago came from Campi Flegre itself, that suggests that the caldera is capable of large recurring eruptions. If it came from nearby volcanic fractures, it suggests that those areas need to be better studied. So the scientists are stressing, well, don't panic completely. It doesn't mean that a huge eruption is likely right now in human time scales is imminent or something like this, but it could reveal more about the future of volcanic activity in the region when we look at the next tens of thousands of years. But they don't know. They still don't know enough that they can 100% say, well, it's not happening, right? So they say we need to start viewing the volcano as more than just Campi Flegre, as more than just the burning fields. We've got to start thinking of the whole of the Campanian plain 
as being a potential zone of eruption, even if very rarely. Ooh. So it's a way larger area that, of course, makes the red zone way larger. And all these evacuation plans and all that might not be helpful at all. I reported in my last video yesterday that the magma might be traveling towards Naples. So definitely check out my playlist about Campi Flegri. There's so much valuable information. And I hope you found that valuable, guys. Please leave it a like, share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel any further, of course, subscribe and uh, check out the links in the description of this video, guys. You can become a monthly supporter of this channel. And uh, in return, you're getting from me like behind the scenes videos, outtakes, private life stuff or stuff like this, what I'm doing with my hand and my finger all the time. And uh, yeah, all that in my farm life. So check out the links in the description. YouTube also has a join button that gives you more information. And if you want to directly support me, I have this buymeacoffee.com slash silky site where you can support me with coffees. It all goes towards my animals right now against the Apollo's vet bills and the horses. Also, the link is in the description. And thanks for everyone who's been doing this. Thanks for being members and sending me the supers here on YouTube, guys. You're great. And stay, stay safe. Stay alert. I see you very soon, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.